Hey, it's Enlightenment Garden. It is July 6th, 2019 today, and today I'm going to do a video for you on ant protection. Um, I've done one in the past, but I've, I think I found the perfect method to protect your precious figs from ants. My go-to method for ant control is Tanglefoot. It's a very caustic, sticky substance, so you have to apply it in a certain way to ensure that your tree does not get damaged in the process but it essentially is a physical barrier to ants. They will crawl up onto it and get stuck and die. They won't reach further up on the tree to disturb your fruit. So um, I will be showing you how to apply Tanglefoot. Before I actually apply Tanglefoot, um, I wanna make sure that there are no ants on the tree. So I wash it down. Neem oil is a nice organic way to treat your trees for insects. On materials, I use these 12 inch plant saucers. Um, they cost about a dollar. This is going to serve to prevent mulch from blowing up into your tanglefoot. These are adhesive bandages. They're self-adhering. So what I do is I wrap this around the uh, trunk area where I'm gonna apply the tanglefoot really tight. Um, that serves as a nice compression point so that the ants aren't going to crawl underneath the surface. And the new thing this year is I'm, I'm using shrink wrap. So shrink wrap is nice because obviously it's plastic, so liquid is not going to seep through this. Um, I do wrap it quite a few times around the tree just because we do have very hot temperatures here, so things are going to degrade with um, sun. And, okay, this is the tangle foot. Uh, you can get a big vat like this on Amazon. You don't really use all that much, so it lasts a pretty long time. I don't need to put this year round. This is just during the summer where we have ant issues. All right, so I've got one of these sprayers. So just pop this off. You don't need to put too much of the stuff in couple teaspoons will do it. So I've purposely maintained my fig trees that are in ground with the single trunk. And I do that because it makes it a lot easier to apply Tanglefoot. There's only one entry point to the tree. Thing with the physical barrier is you definitely want to make sure that you're not allowing another pathway to the tree. So I usually walk around my trees, make sure, you know, I don't have uh, any leaves touching the wall because the ants can crawl up on the wall and then get onto the leaves. So I don't have issues there. Um, if you have stakes and you're staking your tree on either side, you know, the ants can get on there as well. So you want to maybe put your tape further down the trunk. Got my garden hose attached here. You can see right here, there's the screw on attachment. The other thing here is that you can set your concentration. So I'm just doing three ounces. Um, there's a trigger on here. This will allow the water from the hose to mix with the solution. And this just makes it an easy way to clean off the tree of any existing ants or bugs that you don't want to trap on there. Neem oil, though it's organic, can burn the tree. So after I spray it down with the neem oil, I like to rinse it off with some just plain water. So you just want to drench this really well. Just hose this down now. So we'll have to wait for this to dry off before putting our tangle foot on. While we're doing that, um, I tend to bag the fruit. 
So these are the Aragonza bags. You can get them on Amazon. This I believe is a 4x9 size. They come in different colors. Really doesn't matter what color you get, they're going to fade a little bit from the sun here. Um, but what this does is it deters the birds from pecking at the fruit. So you just slip the bag over and then it has drawstrings on either side, so you just pull it tight. The added benefit is um, figs can get sun scald if they're in direct sun. These bags tend to help with that a little bit. It's not foolproof. If you have a problem with squirrels or other critters, they're probably going to chew right through these bags. But here, where it's very hot, you know, animals are going to go to the path of least resistance. I have water fountains, a couple of them in my backyard that provide cool hydration for them. So they're going to go there rather than my fruit when I use these bags. So it works for me. Um, may want to try it out in your yard. All right, now that our tree is for the most part dry, trunk is dry for sure, I'm going to use this bandage to wrap around the trunk. Now I'll link these products in the description, so if you want to purchase them, you can. If you want to pull tightly, nice thing about this tape is it's self-adhering. It also expands. So it's not going to girdle your tree. You can see it's quite tight. For my next step, I'm going to use the shrink wrap. I'm going to put a couple layers around this. just a time saver. It's the right width for the job. So we're going to wrap a good amount on here. That way when we need to reapply the tangle foot, we can just take some of that surface off. We don't have to rewrap. As you know, I'm a believer in mulch. I have quite a bit of mulch on the ground around my trees. You know, I have um, straw around the base and leaves are inevitably going to fall as well. So when we put our tangle foot on, we don't want leaves and debris to get stuck on here because it's going to reduce the effectiveness of the product. It's not going to trap the ants. So this is my solution to the issue. Cut down one of the sides. And probably the most effective thing is to just overlap like that. And then with the stapler. staple that seam a few times and you're good to go. This is not going to go anywhere. This dome is going to prevent debris from coming up. Now for the last step, tangle foot. I find paint brushes aren't real great because the bristles will break off and they'll get stuck in here. This little foam sponge is awesome for this. Just the right amount to. Little foam sponge is great because it's just the right thickness for what we're working on. A little goes a long way. Just make sure that you're going all the way around your tree so that nothing is left. And that's all there is to it. So this is 
a very effective physical barrier to ants. Um, it's my biggest issue here in the Phoenix, Arizona area, is those ants. It's very difficult to try to treat your whole backyard for ants to get them. I don't want to put pesticides down, so I leave the ants alone, um, but I make sure they leave my fig trees alone by doing this. For the most part, the ants won't even try to cross the barrier. Some will, but they'll get stuck in there. If you have any questions, please uh, comment below, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.